Aquarius. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll start off your reading with an oracle message and I'll get into the tarot. So if I sound nasally, I'm just getting out of a, over a cold, so bear with me. So what are the messages for Aquarius? For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training is down below. Okay, that one wanted to jump. Shopping, okay. Some of you could be shopping right now. Uh, they just told me overspending as well. But I'm also feeling for some of you, you could be shopping for something specific. Okay, so they just told me wedding dress. So some of you that could be like for you or maybe you're going to a wedding or shopping for some sort of event. Okay, what are the financial messages? Okay, huge decisions. Okay, so for some of you, there's going to be some big decisions regarding finances um, or a business even. I feel like for, I don't know why they just told me selling. You could be selling a business. Uh, for some of you, you could be switching jobs. We do have an interview here, so you could be getting an interview somewhere. For some of you, you could be shopping for an interview outfit. Is that of what I'm getting as well? But yeah, for some of you, I'm definitely feeling you could be leaving a job. Maybe you've been there for a while. We have a saving money and background check. Yeah, I feel like we got work from home. So for some of you, you are going to be working from home. Um, but with this background check, I feel like you're going to get past the interview process here. I feel like you're going to get the job that could be running a background check. Um, and then we have saving money. So for some of you, you can be very focused on saving money at this time. They also told me retirement. For some of you, you can be thinking about a retirement fund. Spirit, what are the love messages for Aquarius? Why do I feel so lost? I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, that one just flew out of my hand. I wish I could understand you. Well, good luck. <laughs> People have a hard time understanding us. Okay. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. So you could have someone from the past that is um, missing you. I'm scared of rejection. Spare one of the love messages. Okay. Please do what is best for your heart. I am afraid to lose you. Okay. So for some of you could be dealing with like a past person that really is regretting the way they treated you. I'm also getting that you could have somebody here, like a new person. Maybe they're not sure how you feel. They can't read you. It's I wish I could understand you, Cardinal. This person cannot read you. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? The Six of Pentacles. Okay, so for a lot of you, you are focused on bringing in the money. Um, you could be getting good results from something. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm feeling with this Wheel of Fortune card, uh, for some of you, could be like being aligned with your life purpose. We do have the High Priest energy here. So yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, the knowledge that you've learned if as far as finances, business, money, things like that, I feel like you... I'm just getting the energy of like you taking action towards something like what you've learned you're taking you're putting it into action so i'm seeing getting good results from something here it does feel financial we do have the three of swords energy and i'm feeling like this three of swords it could be your guys's energy but i'm kind of feeling like it's somebody else could be a taurus um but i'm feeling like there's somebody here that really misses you kind of going back to that card if i could go back in time i would handle us differently somebody's filling the three of swords here uh, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Pisces, we do have the Hanged Man and Judgment. So yeah, somebody's really seeing shit from a different perspective. They would have done something differently. I'm feeling like someone from the past is really thinking about you right now. And I feel like for you guys, you're not even focused on that. You're focused on your finances, you're focused on yourself, your money, making big decisions as far as career and finances goes. We have the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups. So for some of you, you could even have options. We have the Two of Pentacles here as well. So you could be seeing two, two, two around uh, Finding Balance. A lot of options right now. For some of you, maybe you're not sure about a connection here with the Two of Swords. You can be a little uncertain about something. What the hell is that? Anyway, <laughs> we do have the Ten of Swords energy here as well. So there was an ending here in the recent past for some of you. And we have Angel of the Ocean. She represents healing and we have the Page of Swords. So somebody's definitely watching you here. The star. Yeah, somebody's watching you. So a lot of you, you're just focused on your healing. And I feel like there's people on the outside just watching you do your thing. I'm sorry if you hear that. I think that's the, it's like a tornado siren or some shit. Um, 
But yeah, I'm getting as well. A lot of people can want your attention right now. My cat just literally tried to jump on my lap and she never does. Like, she's my oldest cat and she really could care less about my existence sometimes. So there could be people that want your attention right now. Um, oh, like multiple people actually is kind of what I'm feeling. Something about a new connection you may not be sure about. Why is the Six of Pentacles energy here? I'm also getting for some of you, this person that's wanting to come back from the past. Some of you are not sure about it. And with the Ten of Swords, the other half of you is like, hell no, I do not want that shit back. So clarifying the Six of Pentacles, we have the Five of Cups. I see you turning around um, your financial situation. With the Five of Cups energy, if you were feeling lost um, or maybe just finances were the best i definitely see whatever efforts you're putting in here are really going to make a difference in your situation i'm also feeling if we're talking about love with the five of cups here i do not feel like this is your energy i feel like somebody here this could be a new person i feel like somebody is focused on what has gone wrong it's like they're not even noticing these two cups over here like the two of cups so maybe this two of swords maybe it's not your energy maybe it's your person like they're not sure if they should pursue this but really, I don't feel like, it's not that they're unsure about you. Maybe they're just unsure if, like, they're ready. Like I said, I feel like this Three of Swords energy is not you. Like, I feel like you're too focused right now. You're too focused on your work. Like, I don't even necessarily feel like you're focused on love. But I feel like love options are focused on you. Why is the High Priest energy here? Yeah, clarifying the High Priest. We have the High Priestess. <laughs> so, I definitely feel there's somebody here that is not talking about how they feel. We do have the um, Ace of Cups and the Moon card. So somebody is not expressing how they feel. It could be a Pisces. Spray me more on the High Priestess. The Eight of Pentacles. You could work with this person. They watch you. Like this person, like, Page of Swords, Page of Swords. You got multiple people watching you right now. Maybe they like what you do for work. Like, if, like, I'm just noticing this person's doing art. Maybe you do some sort of art or something creative. Like, this person's, like, looking at your stuff online. If you do something online here. Just noticing this person with the computer. Yeah, somebody is, like, watching you, watching you. <laughs> Clarify the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords flipped out. So, you and this person could be sharing this Three of Swords energy. But I really feel like it's not your energy. Spirit, give me more on the Three of Swords. The King of Swords. Okay, so somebody could be feeling this about you. Like, maybe you broke somebody's heart, or they're feeling heartbroken about a situation. Let's see more on the Three of Swords. The King of Swords. The Star, yeah. The Two of Swords. The Seven of Swords. I feel like somebody's really hurt that you're not taking them back. With the Seven of Swords, with the Two of Swords, you are not sure if you can trust this person. Some of you could be dealing with another Aquarius. Well, give me one more card on the Three of Swords. Yeah, they're bad that you walked away. The Death card, the Judgment, and the Eight of Cups. You've decided that you're going to want, or that you are done with this situation. And it's like, now that you've decided that, this person is seeing something from a whole different perspective. They're like, oh shit, Aquarius really is done. Let's see. Why is the hanged man energy here? Yeah. There's a Pisces here that really, really wants to get with you. doesn't have to be a Pisces, but strong Pisces energy, water energy. The Knight of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's moving towards you very slow. Do know that they're coming in with this offer. They're just moving really fucking slow uh, with this Knight of Pentacles energy here. But I feel like a lot of you, for a lot of you, you're not even really focused on love. And maybe this person is picking up on that because they watch you very intensely. This person definitely watches you. So maybe they kind of know that love is not your main priority right now. What is the Judgment card here? The Knight of Swords with the Three of Wands. Yeah, I'm feeling like you you made this decision so you could have a better future. And it could have to do with walking away from this situation over here. Maybe you felt like they just told me dead weight. Maybe someone was holding you back. I'm just getting this energy with this Knight of Swords of feeling free to just to really just plow forward in whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Like I, I really see you're very focused on the future here with this Three of Wands. And the future looks really bright as well. Why is the Two of Swords energy here? The Sun card. Could be a Leo here for some of you. The Ten of Swords. This person's still thinking about you. You know, on the Sun. The Two of Swords. For some of you, if you're already, if you're still in this connection currently, you could be questioning. Questioning if this is something you want to continue. I feel like you've learned a lot here with this sun and the page of pentacles. 
I'm also getting as well, if this is a new person, like a new person's energy, the Two of Swords, you make somebody very, very happy. Could be a Leo, could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person is very interested in you, but for some reason they're unsure. I feel like they're unsure if they make this offer to you. It's like they want to hand they want to give you this pentacle and pentacles are solid like the knight of pentacles this is somebody that is trustworthy so if this two of swords is you wondering if you can trust this new person you can they're definitely very trustworthy they come in peace they do not have bad intentions whatsoever but for some reason somebody is feeling unsure i'm, I'm getting two energies here either you have two options and you're not sure who to choose or you're just unsure if you should pursue this at all Give me more on the Two of Swords. The Justice card. Yeah, wondering if this person's telling you the truth. They are. The Chariot, the Lovers, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of confusion around this because I feel like somebody is not expressing how they feel very clearly. However, with the Lovers card, this is a mutual connection. So maybe you can deal with the Cancer or else have Gemini here as well. Uh, but with the Six of Pentacles, this person, they can match your energy. And maybe you do have a lot of options here, but it's like there's something about this connection that is very real with the lover's card. It's very why is the two of cups energy here? Okay. We have the five of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, you're gonna be abandoning a connection to pursue this because it's a better offer. Um I'm also getting as well for some of you before you pursue love, you're really wanting to get your money situation right. Or that could be what this person's doing, like, damn, I gotta get my money right. Like, I feel like somebody's really thinking about that right now. That could also be what's taking so long. Maybe this person's very focused on their finances, or this could be you. Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? The Page of Swords again. <laughs> yeah, this person you ended shit with, they are watching you like crazy. This new person's watching you like crazy. Could be a King of Cups for some of you from the past. You know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, they are so stuck. Because, like, I don't know. It's like, they lied to you. They were, with the Seven of Swords, for a lot of you, this person was in the wrong. But it's like, now they're thinking about, I feel like you, losing you was their karma, is what I'm getting with this. Why? Right? Okay. At the bottom of the card, I just saw this says gossip here. So there could be people, This the new person could be talking about you. Maybe talking about you to their friends. Okay, why is the Page of Swords energy here? The strength card could be a Leo, four of wands. This person can definitely see themselves being in a committed relationship with you. Be more on the page of swords. Yeah, somebody is like, could be a coworker for some of you. Three of pentacles. Aries energy as well with the fool. Um, I feel like this person is like way overthinking it's like, I feel like they're making pursuing you so much harder than it needs to be. I feel like this person is very scared you will reject them. Okay. Why is the Nine of Swords here with the toe? Okay. Yeah, because it's like they can see. It's like you're their wish fulfillment. We got the Ten of Cups in the world. So they're very scared. They're coming forward. They're moving slow, though, because I'm feeling like with this strength card as well, they are trying to, like, get the courage to just ask you. Like, I feel like they practice in the mirror type shit. Like, they really want to ask you out. But they're very scared. I feel like this person works very hard, too, with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they think about you a lot. And really, I just think they're overthinking it. They're just stressing their stuff out. But I do see this new person coming in with an offer. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Spirit, what is the overall advice for Aquarius? The Devil. Okay, so the Devil as advice. I'm feeling like the Devil, this could be some sort of insecurity or some sort of habit, something here that holds you back. So this may need to be addressed. Or what is the advice? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. I'm, there's, some, there's something within yourself. With the devil here, this is something to be addressed. Some sort of insecurity. With the Knight of Pentacles, this does talk about confidence. So focusing on yourself, self-love, confidence. Um, 
they just told me like positive affirmation, celebrating yourself, like kind of getting out of that devil energy of overthinking or feeling like you're not good enough or whatever, you know, I mean, as Aquarius, we snap back really fast. So for those of you that are maybe struggling with some of that right now, it does need to be addressed. Also with this devil, if this is somebody outside of you, for those of you that have not walked away from this toxic energy, again, this devil needs to be addressed because there's something here that is holding you back for some of you still. So I feel like for a lot of you, you have really big plans for the future, um, you know, things that you want to take action on. But if there's something here that's holding you back, it could be a bad habit, um, a thought process, a person, whatever it is, it's it's time to address that and get back to being a confident and independent and take an action towards what it is that you want. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training is down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.